Good afternoon. I'm sorry I cannot be with you in person today to join you in welcoming Dr. Paul Alavisados as the new director of Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Paul was confirmed unanimously yesterday by the Board of Regents upon my recommendation. The Department of Energy has concurred with Paul's selection. I am very pleased that Paul has accepted this position and will continue to apply his leadership, expertise, and scientific vision to the tremendous work of the lab. Paul and I are discussing a possible date for me to visit the lab again. I look forward to spending time with you and to learning more about all the great scientific work that you are doing. I also expect that a number of the members of the Board of Regents will be visiting the lab in the near future. As you know, I asked Paul to be interim director in January 2009 when Steve Chu was named Secretary of the Department of Energy. Paul accepted and stepped into the role of directing this great scientific facility. Paul is a world-class scientist. He's an outstanding member of the UC Berkeley faculty who has mentored many students and encouraged campus and laboratory collaborations. He has also shown the vision necessary to lead the Berkeley lab in addressing the scientific challenges that lie ahead. Since his appointment in January as interim director, Paul has successfully led the lab in obtaining more than $220 million in funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. This infusion of funds highlights the confidence the Department of Energy and other federal agencies have in the scientific research you are pursuing now and that which is yet to come. This funding will further the lab's work in a number of exciting ways, including computing support to the nation's scientists, assistance to users of the flagship advanced light source, and development of a new laser accelerator. All of you at the Berkeley Lab are making tremendous contributions to addressing the serious challenges facing our nation. Under Paul's leadership, you've also established a number of new initiatives at the lab, including a next generation light source, integrating research on the carbon cycle across the lab, and revitalizing the laboratory's infrastructure, including renovating Old Town. The laboratory has long excelled at cutting edge science, including biology and engineering that ranges from the most basic exploration of the physics of the universe to applied efforts to increase the energy efficiency of buildings and homes. Under Steve Chu and now Paul Alavisados, Berkeley Lab has developed an integrated approach to addressing the energy and environmental challenges facing California, the nation, and the world. I am confident that Paul is the right leader for the Berkeley Lab at this pivotal point in its history. Under his leadership, Berkeley Lab will continue to make profound contributions to science and to the world around us. I look forward to visiting with you all soon, and now I'd like you to join with me in welcoming the new director of Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, the seventh in its distinguished history, Dr. Paul Alavisados.